Greetings everyone and thank you for joining us for this week's edition of GTV. I'm Don Valiant and this is the news from Kyungi Province this week. The Kyungi Province Special Judicial Police have uncovered illegal fine dust emissions at 77 business locations in the province. The most frequent violation, with 54 cases, was failure to install airborne dust control facilities. This was followed by 16 cases of non-compliance with related facility reporting requirements. As part of current seasonal fine dust control measures, the province will strengthen the monitoring and management of fine dust generating businesses and pursue follow-up actions with violators. Kyungi Province has announced carbon neutrality initiatives to proactively respond to climatic issues. These initiatives consist of 13 detailed strategic tasks that are geared to achieve two primary objectives, renewable energy development through resident participation and carbon neutral complex development. In addition, the province will establish the 2050 Kyungi Province Carbon Neutrality Master Plan next year in line with the central government's 2050 carbon neutrality scenario. A solar generator known as the Kyungi Resident Sunshine Power Plant was installed on the rooftop of the Kyungi Arts Center under the joint sponsorship of Kyungi Province and provincial residents. Selected through an energy self-reliance contest for Kyungi residents, this solar power plant project was realized with 30% of its total installation costs of 450 million Korean won being supported by the province. Producing approximately 400,000 kilowatts of electricity annually, this power plant is expected to contribute to greenhouse gas reduction as well as to carbon neutrality. Kyungi Province recently designated nine new Kyungi cultural assets including an anthology of the writings of two Chosun dynasty kings. These new provincial cultural assets also include a painting at Cheongyongsa Temple in Ansong City and a temple bell at Sungbusa Temple in Weijungbu City. The province plans to publicly promote the value of these newly designated cultural assets. Kyungi Province and the Kyungido Market Revitalization Agency will launch a traditional market specialization project next year for about 14 selected markets. With a total allocation of approximately 4.5 billion Korean won, this project is aimed at improving the self-reliance of traditional markets while promoting a working class economy. This project will be implemented in tandem with regional development plans with priority for support given to markets that have established mid- to long-term plans. On December 16th, Kyungi Province and the DMZ Peace Network jointly held a liberal arts seminar on the Korean Demilitarized Zone, or DMZ, at the Camp Greaves Gymnasium in Paju City. Featuring more than 80 participants, including specialists in the humanities, as well as local officials and provincial assembly members, this seminar was organized to identify exceptional narratives in the humanities about the DMZ. During the seminar, which was held under the theme of walking through the DMZ, participants discussed ways in which to link the cultural and scenic values of the DMZ with its southern and northern border areas. On December 8th, Kyungi Province held a Labor Rights Supporters Operation Briefing to present the results of a 2021 short-term labor survey. Providing on-site guidance and promoting improvements for short-term workers, such as convenience store personnel, the operation of the labor rights supporters has been shown to somewhat improve the working environments and labor rights of such workers compared to the previous year. The province plans to expand labor rights supporter operations, including business operator education programs and to employ more supporters while promoting participation by more cities and counties of the province. Thank you for joining us for this week's edition of GTV. We look forward to seeing you again next week.